What up guys, we're going now to talk about this reaction rate constant, letter K. So, if you remember, we've seen this rate, and we were talking about essentially concentrations and power loss and elementary rules, all that, but what about with, with this K, what about? What's that K? We're going to see that. So, hopefully you already master your concentrations or why the, does this rate law depends on concentration? Because we are going to see now why it also depends on this constant. So, I told you they depend on concentration and sometimes they rise to certain power. And we're going to analyze, once again, this letter here. So, I tell you, it's a they call it reaction rate constant, K. Okay? But actually it's not a constant, it depends on temperature. So, if we are doing isothermal... Uh, let's say isothermic design we're not going to be changing temperature and that's why we call it a constant because if we are at constant temperature we will be having this constant value it's also dependent on the type of reaction it also depends on the reactants of course if you have A and B it's different as you have A and C and it also depends on for example, you have A plus B, but not catalyst. And if you had, I don't know, maybe a palladium catalyst, will also change. So that constant is not constant. But let's say we're going to be, since we are going to have one reaction with either one catalyst or no catalyst, and the reactants are going to be the same, and the type of reaction is going to be the same, and the temperatures are not being changed because they are constant, we can say that for this special case, we're going to have these reaction rate constant letter K ok let's continue and this guy Arrhenius hopefully you know him, it's a very important chemist uh, calculated the relationship between the constant which as I told you is not a constant depends on temperature and this A we're going to talk about it later and this E which is the activation energy we're going to talk about that also later and RT so this is the relationship between K and temperature so you can see as temperature increases K increases and in general as temperature decreases K decreases so let me explain you what's each uh, sorry what's each letter uh, K of A function of T so this value is the rate constant at that temperature this letter A is the pre-exponential factor or frequency factor. We're going to talk about that later. This E here is the mathematical operation for the exponential. I mean, this is the similar to the natural logarithm, actually the reverse function. And this E here is the activation energy of that specific reaction. We're going to talk about it later. R Probably you're familiar is the ideal gas constant is 8.314 joules per gram of Kelvin. And this temperature is the absolute temperature, guys. So, so Kelvin, or if you're using Fahrenheit scale, use ranking. Now, let's talk about this Arrhenius equation. As temperature increases, K increases, and actually it increases faster, so it's not linear. You will see. As you increase more temperature, the K will increase a little bit more and more and more. So it's not a straight line, it has no slope. Actually, it's exponential, as you can see here. And this is due to kinetic theory. Please be sure you know what's the kinetic theory, the collision theory. Because if you do not know, you cannot imagine that much. For example, more temperature, what does that more temperature mean in the system? That means that molecules or the average speed of molecules is relatively high so if you increase temperature you're going to increase that faster more moving or more movement means more collisions what that means they are going to crash between each other and the higher they or the more they collide or they chuck or they interact between each other you're going to have more reactions why because if you have a and you need b to form, they will never form if you don't contact them. So as, once again, collision theory, please check it out. 
So low concentration means fewer collisions. High concentrations mean higher uh, collisions. Uh, the more also orientation is also a factor. So you got I don't know A B and C reacts only with B. Well, if you collide with A, you're not going to have a reaction. But if you collide with B, maybe you do have a reaction here. So B turns out and goes with C, and you got a new material here and a new material here. But this was done because you crashed with the correct side of the molecule. So please check out your chemistry notes. I don't want to deep or dig deep down in this. Uh, you should just know as temperature increases, the constant value increases. And as K increases, the rate of reaction increases. What does that mean? If you increase temperature, probably you are going to have faster rates of reactions. Let me show you this in the other video. It's about this letter A here, the pre-exponential factor. What's up guys? It's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.